and good morning. We've got a very unsettled weekend of weather ahead. Some sunny spells, but frequent showers, a risk of some thunderstorms around today as well. And it's still relatively cool for the time of year. I'll have all the details here on BBC Breakfast. In whatever weather. Yeah, absolutely. Hazel looked like she was well prepared, didn't she, for all eventualities in terms of the weather there. And actually, yes, as we head through the weekend, you may well want to be prepared for all types of weather out there. We've got some sunshine, we've got some really heavy downpours, some thunderstorms in the forecast as well. This is the picture in Pembrokeshire. We've had really heavy downpours there over the past few hours. It was clearing their way through now. So really through the course of the weekend, that's going to be the story. It's going to be sunshine one minute, heavy downpours, thunderstorms around the next and rather cool still. I have heard some people have been putting their heating on uh, over the past week or so. So temperatures still a little below where we we're expecting really for this stage in June. But where you do see the sunshine coming through, it is pretty strong. So it'll feel warm in between these showers that will rotate around this area of low pressure. It is going to be quite a windy day in the south, particularly through the English Channel for parts of southeast England, also up towards the Northern Isles, quite breezy. Lighter winds in between. So where you have this rash of showers developing, they're going to be quite slow moving through parts of Scotland, Northern England, thundery as well. Further south, the showers will be rattling through on that brisk wind coming in from the southwest. So temperatures still a little below average. We're looking at the mid-teens for most of us, around about 14 to 16 in the north. 17 or 18 possibly in the south where you see the sunshine coming through. But it'll feel cooler when you add on the strength of the breeze here and when you get any of those heavy and thundery showers. Moderate levels of pollen out there today for most of us. But as we head through the next few days, pollen levels are really going to creep up to very high across parts of England and Wales in particular. Now through this evening and overnight, most of the showers ease a little bit. We'll see more persistent rain though working in across the northern half of Scotland through the night. Some clear spells round as well and that'll let temperatures drop to between about 7 to 10 in our towns and cities. A little bit cooler than this in the more rural spots. So a fresh start to Sunday for some of us, but low pressure still very much with us. We'll see some fronts pushing in from the north, so that's going to bring more cloud and rain across parts of northern and central Scotland. And then parts of Northern Ireland, southern Scotland also seeing some rain developing. England and Wales tomorrow, another day of sunshine and showers, but more emphasis on the sunshine, fewer showers tomorrow. So there'll be more hit and miss. It's particularly towards the west, you should see some drier weather developing. 17, 18 for most of us, could see 20 down towards the southeast, but it's cooler where you're stuck under the cloud and with the rain across the northern half of Scotland. Head into Monday and we're still with that sunshine and showers theme, but I think a bit of an improvement by this stage. Just a few showers scattered around here and there, potentially for parts of... Northern England could see some elsewhere as well. Still quite cool for the northwest of Scotland, but 20, 21 degrees down towards the south. That will feel that little bit warmer with a bit more sunshine as well. So higher pressure tries to squeeze in from the Atlantic through the first part of the week, but low pressure still to the south and to the north of the UK. So although we may well see a, a window of something a little bit drier and more settled, there'll also be some showers still lingering around through the course of next week. But temperatures, particularly towards the south, are going to be a few degrees warmer than we've seen over recent days. Nagar and Charlie. Sarah, thanks so much. We'll speak later.